Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 14th of February 2023 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. I am using the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. So let's see what we have for you Libra for the day, 14th of February 2023 for our lovely Librans. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. And these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. Message for Libra. Thank you. Message for Libra. Okay, your card has fallen. We have the Four of Swords. With that, we have the Magician. The Sun. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck. We have the High Priestess. I've got literally three out of four cards as major arcana. Big energies. I'm going to start with the Magician. Could be a person as well, this. And this could be somebody who is saying, we can absolutely transform this. We can turn something negative to positive. We can make this happen. This is the energy here that somebody might be saying that to you here, Libra, the magician. Again, male or female energy with this. They can be very persuasive, uh, sometimes manipulative as well. Not always. Uh, the energy of the magician is exactly the same as well. So if it's not a person, it's whatever you want to manifest and what you don't want to manifest now. The magician is somebody who understands how to manifest the reality that they want they can transform they can create they can make things happen you know through that clear focus and intention so this is the energy of you have the magic to decide what you, what happens next with that we have the four of swords taking a step back to see the way forward it can be linked with things like recovery and healing as well so this is where you need to be clear in your own head you may have faced some challenge here and you're thinking, okay, how do I move forward? Taking some time to yourself to get the clarity that you need in your own head. Taking that little momentary pause here, Libra, and that would be the advice as well. And all of a sudden we have the sun. The sun can be light after dark. It can represent illumination the path being lit for you. Uh, really, it's very spiritual energy as well. It can be about spirit lighting the path, illuminating you when you need it the most. It can be very happy and very healing and very regenerative as well. It looks like uh, you're, you're, moving, you're moving or having the opportunity to find illumination, epiphany, the clarity that you need in the way forward. The path is lit uh, in terms of how you bring transformation to your situation here, Libra, and that's the energy. You get the illumination that you need. High Priestess is also very spiritual because intuitively you just feel this is the right direction for you. It looks like you're making up your mind here. The path is lit in terms of how you're moving forward. And the High Priestess is just deep down, I know this is the right thing for me. Intuitively, this just feels right and this is the direction I'm moving in. And that's the energy, quite strongly. You get the illumination when you need it the most. Uh, this feels like uh, a path is lit for you. Uh, really a lot of, uh, you make your mind up, things become clear in terms of how you're moving forward. I'm going to pull one more card. Clarify the sun, the most positive and influential card in the tarot deck. It always is. I always say here comes the sun because it really does mean that in, in tarot. Yeah, the magician. <laughs> And we have the Queen of Cups. So this could be heart energies. This could be with another person, male or female, the Queen of Cups. Or it could be trusting your heart if this is your energy. This feels like manifesting, I mean, it could well be a family member. It can be love romance, the Queen of Cups, a friendship. It looks like you've, you've been taking a step back to see if recovery is available. 
if you can transform the situation, but it looks like this is about bringing emotional stability and healing to a situation here. Let's pull one more card. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, an offer of love. Three of Swords, after hurt. Three of Swords can be hurt, heartbreak, disappointment, third party situations, letdowns. This is somebody who wants to make amends and transform the situation. Like I said, it could well be the magician. The magician can be a person, and that's what I said at the beginning. Is to, they've caused hurt in some level here, Libra. You might be considering breakups as well as part of this process. But it looks like you're deciding to give them a chance. I mean, that because it just feels right. Again, the high priestess is deep down. It's your higher energy, your higher perspective, your higher self. Your higher self is thinking, actually, let's see if we can transform this. There is certainly somebody coming to you wanting to transform the situation. And it feels like you get clarity. The path is lit in how you're moving forward but moving forward in a very positive and happy and optimistic way, in healing and regenerative way. Okay, let's pull an affirmation for you. What do we have for Libra, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Libra for the day, thank you. When I don't know what is happening, I choose to be curious and excited about what is going to be. That is your affirmation for the day, Libra. Let's see what we have as a final message for you. Two magicians in the reading. This just feels like the magic is all around. But you decide. You decide at the end of the day. You decide what you want to manifest, what you don't. It looks like you're getting very, very clear clarity and illumination here for your highest good. What do we have for Libra, please? Message for Libra, thank you. Yeah. Sight. Owl. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. There's a sense of everything becoming clear. That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful, maybe confirmed a few things for you. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.